Hey girl, welcome to the Feminine Founder Podcast, where we are all about learning and growing professionally so that we can build a life that we are proud of and really love. My name is Caroline, and I'm a LinkedIn expert obsessed with teaching female entrepreneurs how to start, grow, and scale their personal brand and business on LinkedIn. This podcast is all about sharing our stories and learning from each other on how to navigate our professional journey so that we can live our best lives. So if you are just starting out on your entrepreneurial journey, or you're growing and scaling an epic company, you are in the right place, friends. Today, I want to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is LinkedIn. And I really want to go into and unpack exactly why you need to be on the platform if you are a working professional. Here's the thing about LinkedIn is LinkedIn is not the place it used to be. I think people have in their minds that LinkedIn is a place where only job seekers and recruiters hang out or companies that are hiring. That's a place that they go and place their ads. But the reality is that's not it at all. They've completely changed everything from a tech standpoint and have made it really a place for creators to get on there and be able to create a personal brand for themselves and not only a personal brand, but they can blow up their business, their podcast, whatever it is that they're trying to grow on LinkedIn. And it's so much less competitive than Facebook or Instagram. And I say that coming to you. So I have both a service-based business and a product-based business. My product-based business is Chilled Vino, my wine drinkware that's patented, it's sold on Amazon and online. And then my service-based business is my LinkedIn coaching business. I have a group of membership called Ladies That Link. Ladies That Link is going to be relaunching again in September, by the way. And so if you want on the wait list, go to feminineFounder.com, click on membership, and you can put your email in there. So my service-based business, I teach female entrepreneurs how to start, grow, and scale their personal brand and business using LinkedIn. And the reason I chose LinkedIn as my platform of choice is because the visibility on there is literally insane. So what does that mean? So actually only 1% of people post content on LinkedIn. So what does that mean for you? It means it's a platform where you can get a ton of visibility. The stats of people posting content on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook are close to the 60% plus. So just think about the visibility that you will be able to receive on LinkedIn with only 1% of people putting content out there anyways. And I think LinkedIn gets a bad rap too because they're like, oh, it's only professional. It's all square and everything. It's not at all. Trust me. I literally have emojis in almost every single post that I do on LinkedIn. And honestly, the more relatable I am on there, the larger my audience gets. And the more I'm positively received by them as well. So people on there, you got to think about it. They are just human, just like you and I. And even though the platform has this rap of being this professional place only, it's really become more of a networking site. And they've done a really good job with integrating some technology so you can do LinkedIn Lives. They're literally the exact same as Instagram Lives. You can do audio events on there. You can do, you can schedule content out. You can build out your profile to optimize it. There's so many things you can do with it. And they've implemented a system too where you can have connections, which is what it's always been. And then also now that you can have followers. So if someone isn't really interested in connecting with you, or maybe only knows you from afar, they can follow you instead of connect with you. And also the average user on LinkedIn makes $100,000. Okay. So what does that mean to you, especially if you're a service provider, if you are a lawyer, CPA, listening to this or marketing professional, or financial advisor, or a coach, or someone who teaches other people how to do public speaking, if you do anything where you sell a service in exchange for money, your people, your audience are 100% on LinkedIn. And again, those average users make over $100,000, which means they have money to spend with you on legal fees. They have money to spend with you on CPA fees. They have money to spend with you to invest in your marketing services. And guess what? When people are getting along on LinkedIn... They're getting on and looking at it on their computer. So what does that mean to you? That you have more of their focus and attention on some of these other social media platforms. People are scrolling. They're doing other things. They're in their car at a red light, whatever. On LinkedIn, you've got their focus and they're they're actually on their computer. So let me go into my personal story as to what LinkedIn has done for me and hopes that it inspires you to do the same as well and start creating content and getting out there on LinkedIn. 
So my personal story, about a year ago in 2023, I was working full-time in my corporate job. Had a great job, loved it. I uh, loved everyone I was working with, all the things, but I knew that I was made for more. There was something inside me that just this little tiny voice was coming out and I couldn't ignore her anymore. And I knew I was on LinkedIn for a good chunk of time anyways for my corporate job. So I decided to start buckling down and actually learning and growing my my audience on the platform. And so I committed to posting five days a week and that was doable for me. And I've stuck with that schedule for a year and a half now. And what that went for me is I went from zero to 7,000 followers in under a year. It was about the 10 month mark that actually that happened. And people, the DMs in LinkedIn get a bad rap too, because there is SEO people always creeping in my DMs, but you just block and delete those people. So, but my DMs are full of magic now. I have real clients, real human beings who are writing me saying the kindest things or needing help, needing services, or who want advice on something. And it's just been such a blessing. And on top of that, now I've been invited to speak at masterminds, speak on stages. You know, I have a full-blown successful coaching business now. I have a full-blown membership. Um, And not to mention it's provided visibility for both this podcast and also my product-based business, Chilled Vino. So my point here is... Even if you think LinkedIn is scary, or maybe you haven't taken the time to really embrace everything that the platform has to offer, my encouragement to you is to just go ahead and get started. Go ahead and get started in optimizing your profile. Even if you don't decide to do content or you that's not really something that you're interested in, I would highly encourage you to start getting engaged on the platform. What does getting engaged mean? It means connecting with more people that are doing things that you would like to be doing or future clients even. It means actually liking or commenting other people's posts as well, because that will create a lot of visibility for you too. And so if you have any questions about this, send me a DM. I'm happy to help. If you love this podcast, please leave a review on Apple. I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time.